Hey guys, good to see you. Welcome to today's video, Till Truth Here While. We'll be breaking down for you how you can best succeed at Killer Queen Black, the latest game to hit both Steam, Switch, and uh, it's also on Discord. So if you have Discord Nitro, you actually get this game for free right now at the time of recording this video. And uh, it's an awesome pickup, $20 game, and I could not recommend it more. So to give you a little bit of a backstory, this is actually a, uh, a brand new quote, like kind of arcade style game. It's 8-bit it's themed, and I think you're really gonna like it. It originally started in a like physical arcade set where there was, I think it was teams of five on each side of like the physical arcade panel, so that's Killer Queen, right? And now this is Killer Queen Black, which is the, you know, like basically internet-based version where you guys can all play together with your friends. So that's just giving you a brief overview on what the game is, and now I really wanna break down for you today just like essentially a starting tutorial, like how can you get better at Killer Queen Black and how can you succeed and start winning some of these games and gaining some ELO and, and getting better placement in your ranked games. So we're gonna dive into that in this video here. Okay, so there are three different ways you can win in Killer Queen Black, and that's really just gonna break down the overall strategy of this game. So if you're brand new to it, I'm gonna briefly go over this and show you how you can um, best succeed in each of these areas and the different components that come together to make this a reality in game. So let's take a quick peek at the game. So this first screenshot is a picture of how you can win um, via economy. So that's um, kind of the basic one. The very beginning in economy is basically moving the berries into the holes here or the honeycomb um, to kind of play along with the continued uh, queen bee concept, right? And so you have each team filling up the different honeycombs and it's gonna be different for each side. So that's called economy win. You basically, literally, you're a, a starting worker. You'll run around and collect these berries in the different spawn points and bring them up to the honeycomb. Now, um, a different a tactic you can see in a different uh, mechanic in this game compared to the arcade version is the ability to literally throw a berry. So there's a physic um, and there's a lot of different ways this plays out and, and different tips and tricks that we can go into at a later video later date um, so subscribe if you want to stay up to date on the different tips and tricks to this game right you can literally throw the berry and um, it takes into account basically like how fast you're moving where you're at the jumping etc you have to kind of play the game to get an idea of what you mean by or what I mean by the physics of the game so there's literally different strategies where you could have literally one B in the base and your other workers throwing the berries up to the honeycomb to try and get a fast econ victory I've already seen that play out in some of the higher level gameplay right so that um, is really kind of your base core foundation economy win so the second way that you can win is through military victory right so each queen each side has a queen uh, has three lives and so you can see the two queens here they're battling it out uh, to see whoever can win and there's different ways that um, the queen can die in the game right or um, you know, it's kind of complicated to say without breaking down each different scenario, but you can have different warriors. So you can see this guy with the different with the gun here, right? And there's actually an, another mace that you can unlock, which is a, more of like a swinging uh, coconut mechanic, as it's uh, called by some of the players, or the mace in game. Um, so there's the warrior, the the coconut, or he's unlocked the the gun warrior here. So those are the three different warriors you can have. And they're all um, either able to attack the small worker units or the queen unit. And so um, that's kind of like the one way of doing it. Or the queen can literally um, knock each other. And so each queen has three lives, as indicated by the eggs up top. So you can see the orange or red team here is down two queen lives. And this blue team is only down one, right? And so three total lives, once the queen goes down three times, then the game is over, and that's another way to win, right? And so I won't go too terribly in-depth. There's a lot of different ways that you could perhaps um, bully the queen or the queen can bully other players, and the queen is just a huge part of this game. You'll get that the more you play. One other quick like tidbit, I would say, and, and tip in this video is if you are a 
uh, if you want to go with for a military victory, um, you're going to need support from the other worker bees. You're going to need them to upgrade to these these warrior units, right? And so this guy could grab a berry and go down to um, actually I'd have him grab a berry and go up to this gate right here, um, and I'd have him get the speed one first. So this makes your unit move faster, which can help you econ or can help you move a snail. You can see this guy is powered up right now. He's speeding around, but he could also bring this berry to this gate and then he can be a warrior he's essentially a fast warrior which helps you keep up with the speed of the queen so that's my my tidbit you can actually go speed mace you could go speed gun whatever you want to do right um and i, I think that it just makes you a lot more efficient if you have the time and the luxury to get both power ups it takes a little bit of time to do that so moving on then to the final portion all right so the final way that you can win and kill a queen fly right is to win with the snail so you can see the snail here moving along the bottom um, he is trying to bring the snail from the middle of the map to his um, gate at the end and it's pretty simple very forward and it, you literally just hop on the snail and go all the way to one side now there's different factors and ways of like slowing down the snail so the snail moves slow like a snail would and you'd expect right but um the other team can sacrifice a unit you can see this the blue team jumped in front of the snail to stop it and it slows down the snail right um, so that's a desperation play you can see the other blue team um warrior and the queen trying to defend or trying to attack actually he's attacking uh the snail rider um and this guy's trying to defend the snail rider so uh there's different strategies that evolve around this like one unique thing you could do i would say really just two tips as you ride the snail right um i would try and grab that again speed boost because the snail would literally move faster if you have the speed boost before you get on it so you have the luxury of doing that i would go for that uh, the other thing is you don't need to just like die on the snail. People will often just sit on the snail and ride it out until they get attacked because they're helpless, right? Um, you can jump off and juke the the diving warrior, the diving queen, and make them waste time trying to chase you around. Even though they might get you eventually, it's worth it to kind of try and juke that um, or live to see another day versus going through the respawn and coming on it back down again. So um, that's that. So I'm super excited for what this game has to offer, guys. I think it has a great core, great bones. It's addictive, uh, easy to pick up. It has a competitive scene, um, great teamwork. I think all these things can work together and, and bring it into light and the forefront of even esports leagues. There's, um, you know, ranked, etc. cetera. And uh, I, I cannot wait to see what you guys do. Let me know in the comments below. What other tips and tricks have you learned? What things have you done as you picked up this game for the first time and stuff that I should cover in future videos? Videos as we try and break down Killer Queen Brack. Guys, please subscribe, comment. See you guys soon. Have a great day.